Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and today was a pretty big day for Creality as they're celebrating their 10th anniversary, and they did so by announcing a few new products, including one that is very highly anticipated and now confirmed, the Creality K2 Plus is a very real thing, and it is coming out this year and around July. And in addition to that, their multi-color system was also revealed. They're calling it the Creality Filament System, or CFS for short, and that's what I'm going to be talking about here today, as well as a couple of other announcements that they made. So I'm going to put on the screen here pictures of the K2 Plus, as well as the Creality Filament System, and for some reason, they don't have any official information about these two devices on their official page or social media pages right now, but I'm going to tell you some specs that I found out from the live stream that they had in which this was revealed. So first of all, the K2 Plus is going to have a build volume of 350 by 350 by 350 millimeters. Of course, it is enclosed core XY design. It's also going to have a maximum build plate temperature of 100 degrees Celsius with a maximum hot end temperature of 350 degrees Celsius. It's going to have an active heated chamber as well along with a all metal direct drive extruder with a filament cutter. So maximum print speed is going to be 600 millimeters per second with a 30,000 millimeters per second squared acceleration with a typical printing speed of 300 millimeters per second. You're going to be able to connect to the internet via ethernet or Wi-Fi. It also comes with an AI camera. I thought it was interesting how the Creality is leading with the K2 Plus, but that doesn't mean there's not going to be any other K2 printers in this lineup. So we're just going to have to wait and see if they decide to come out with a regular K2 or K2 Max. And also, we don't know what the price is going to be for either of these. So we still need to wait for more information on that. But come July, especially the end of July, we should know everything that we need to know by then. Creality also said that the CFS is going to be compatible not only with the K2 Plus, but with other 3D printers that they're going to be releasing moving forward. But if you already have a K1, K1 Max, K1C, or Ender 3 V3 printer, then they're going to have upgrade kits available that will allow you to use the multicolor system as well. Now, they didn't say anything about a release date or price for any of that, but if you have one of those printers, they did not leave you out in the code. You are going to be able to upgrade to get multicolor printing as well. Another announcement that they made is a larger version of the Ender 3 V3 that is called the Ender 3 V3 Plus. And they actually do have some information about that up on their website. You see here is their plus size Core XZ 3D printer. So let's just scroll through here and take a look at some of these specs here. It's got a pretty decent uh, build volume, as it says here, 300 by 300 by 300, which puts it in the helmet class. You'll be able to print some full size adult helmets on here if that's what you want to do. 58% larger than the original V3. XZ belt tensioning that is fully automated, accurate Z axis with less wobbling due to precise linear rods and timing belts. The Z axis can position itself more accurately than ever. It means minimum Z banding in your 3D prints with a maximum speed of 600 millimeters per second with a max acceleration of 20,000 millimeters per second squared. And here's some examples of how fast that you can print these particular objects. We got a 14 minute, minute Benchy, assuming that you are using some hyper PLA, some high speed PLA filament, eight hours and 26 minutes for this light shade, 69 hours, 23 minutes for this stackable drawer. Really simple looking assembly here. So that looks really Really easy just attaching that gantry right there the filament spool holder in the touch screen and hey you are done that's what i love you get the auto auto calibration so no wheels and you're not going to be doing any paper tests always love to see that it's got a silent mode it's got a touch screen a textured uh, pei sheet you'll be able to transfer files through usb creality cloud or over your local network it's got a new high speed direct drive extruder it's got a filament runout sensor they're pushing creality print for the slicing software but you know you can just use whatever slicing software that you want you're also going to have Wi-Fi and power loss recovery, as well as all these other things that they have here. And this printer, when it's released, is going to cost 
$479. Last but not least, we're gonna wrap things up with their new resin 3D printer. This is the Halot Mage S14K. Now, Creality hasn't necessarily been a front runner when it comes to resin 3D printers, but they're giving another stab at it right here. And here are some of the specs of this. So they're gonna have a maximum speed of 150 millimeters per hour. It's got that 14K mono LCD screen. They've got a laser carved build plate and an anti-slip build adapter. It's got a built-in air purifier. And of course they're pushing their slicing software. But of course, like I said before, or you can use whatever slicing software that you might want to use. This lady is not wearing gloves, so I'm going to assume that this is already cured. Otherwise, that's not a good look. You need to really push safety when you're dealing with this stuff. But let's just take a look at some of these other things here. They have this Dynax Plus mode, which is ultra fast. So they say that you'll be able to finish a 15 centimeter tall model in one hour. And I thought this was pretty funny too. It says, and the print quality is still pretty good. <laughs> 15 centimeters is just under six inches. So here are some of the other estimated times here, depending on the mode that you choose to use from regular mode, the Dynax mode and the Dynax Plus mode. And they are recommending for the Dynax Plus mode that you use a fast resin, Dynax mode, high precision resin and regular mode for high precision precision resin as well. And it's also telling you the layer height that you need to be at in order to achieve these times. They also are going to give you the ability to upgrade the printer with a smart resin pump. So it'll do all of the loading and unloading for you. So you don't have to do that. And then it also has this flip top lid with a quick release build plate. And you'll be able to use both USB, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet in order to print in a way that is most suitable for you. So those are the 3D printers that Creality announced today during their event. And now I wanna know which one of these has got you most excited. Is it going to be the Creality K2 Plus with the Creality filament system? Or is it going to be the upgrade kit that's gonna be coming out in the future so that you can use it to complement your existing 3D printer? And what about this resin printer? Do you care about resin printing or do you prefer to do your resin 3D printing with another brand and why? You know, So all those things are interesting to know and I'm curious to hear your thoughts about it but that is going to do it for now. And remember, we still have another release coming up from AnyCubic who is also expected to uh, show off their multicolor filament system as well on April 15th. So be sure to come back for that. So as any other big announcements that are sure to come around the corner. So until then, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.